Hey friends, it's Dr. Susie Harris from Cedarwood Natural Health Center and I'm coming to you today to talk to you about a few things. I'm gonna start doing a few quick videos that just kind of help share um, what I'm seeing in my practice throughout the week and also like any questions I've gotten or things I've learned from patients or from other colleagues, research papers, any of that. So at this point, I wanted to come uh, forward and talk with you about three top things. Um, the number one question and phone call I'm getting over the last couple of weeks is, hey, I tested positive, what can I do? You know, I'm either symptomatic or not, but you know, staying home and not really given any advice about what to take or what to do. So um, I'm gonna drop a link below this video that gives you a little bit of um, exposure to the Frontline COVID Care Alliance recommendations for prevention and early treatment at home to keep you from any drama. Um, also, just to know, this latest version of the virus coming through is more contagious but less deadly. So I'm seeing lots of people testing positive, nobody getting super sick. Some people that are getting, you know, knocked down a little harder than others, it's two to three days of just feeling super tired and some people spike a fever. But anyway, this is not meant to be medical advice at all. I don't know you, you'd have to come in and sit with me to have a consult if I were gonna try to help you directly. I would say run what I'm saying past your own intuition and then check in with your own doctors because I don't have your health history here. But um, if you check out the link below, it, it involves the different ways that many doctors around the world and definitely here in the United States and Vermont, New York and Connecticut, who are using these protocols and having great luck keeping their patients home and out of the hospitals. Um, so there's that, like, yes, you can do something. And lifestyle, geez, you know, why aren't we talking about your lifestyle? It, we definitely need to drop the sugar, right? Sugar reduces your immune system strength. It creates inflammation and uh, messes around with your ability to stay strong when you're trying to have a nice, healthy immune system response. Um, I guess the other thing I would say is hydrate, right? You need half your body's weight in ounces per day of clean filtered water. That's a way to help nutrients make their way into your tissues and toxins out so that you can have a um, functional wellness going on that helps you rally against any sort of cold or flu that you might get. Um, so hydrate, good sleep, seven to eight hours of sleep. Your body does a lot of resetting while you're in your sleep zone. So seven to eight hours of sleep is super helpful for uh, supporting your immune system. And then, you know, dietarily do include lots of nutrient dense foods. You know, you can be juicing with dark green leafy vegetables and, you know, a little bit of apple or fruit or something in there. Um, you know, Google is amazing. You could Google top 10 high nutrient foods for immune strength and just really focus on organic vegetables, low sugar fruits, uh, clean farm uh, raised chicken, beef, fish, you know, if you're not a vegetarian. So essentially healthy protein, lots of vegetables, low sugar fruits, lots of water and healthy fats, you know, the fats that are from butter and olive oil and coconut oil and all that stuff. Avoiding uh, vegetable oils and cooking with seed oils. So yeah, getting enough sleep, hydrate, eat clean, uh, watch out for the sugar and alcohol, watch the processed foods. These are all ways to boost your immune system. And then, like I said, there's a link below that will expose you to uh, the Frontline COVID Care Alliance docs who are helping many, many people uh, stay well during this time. And um, the other thing that I'm getting lots of questions about is, um, I guess it's not a question, it's more of a statement. Lots of people feeling isolated, feeling uh, alone, feeling judged, feeling, um, you know, vilified for making choices uh, to handle their health and their family's health in a way outside of the medical protocol that's being recommended to everyone. Um, if that works for you, that's awesome. Please do that and <clears throat> follow your doctor's advice, of course. And for those of you who it does not work for you for various personal reasons and medical history reasons, um, you know, I would invite you to find your tribe. You have to get near your people who support you in the ways that you're thinking 
and in the ways that you are wanting some grounding and feeling not alone. So Vermont Stands Up, I'm on the board of Vermont Stands Up. We're a group, the link is below. You can go see what our mission is and what we're up to. It's really just supporting people to have access to more um, information. You know, informed consent means that you would be told the risks and you would also be told the benefits and you would also be told about alternative ways to achieve uh, your immune strength and protecting you and your family as we're getting through this cold and flu season. So I have included below as well, you know, speaking about informed consent and the risks, um, I plopped a, um, a link to the VAERS data for here in Vermont. VAERS is the Vaccine Adverse Event Reaction. I might be quoting that wrong, but it's essentially any injuries or adverse reactions that people may have had. It's a governmental website. 70% uh, of the data in there is from medical practitioners. Um, you know, if you don't believe in that stuff, I guess don't go there. But, you know, it's a part of the whole picture. People need the whole picture so they can make an informed decision on what they'd like to do. So um, protocols that can be helpful data that lets you kind of assess the risk for you and your family, and then connect with your tribe. We really want to see you get uh, connected with people so you're not feeling alone and know that there's more than one way to walk this path. We love you so much and um, stay well. Take care, okay? Bye-bye.